When you look at B2B relationships, sometimes leaders are surprised that a client has attrited or has informed that they are going to attrite. That should not come as a surprise to most leaders if they look for one important aspect, an early warning sign of why a client will stay with you or will attrite. And I'm going to talk about that briefly today. If you keenly observe such clients, clients who have recently attrited or clients who are going to attrite, who have already told you that they wish to attrite, you would notice that there is a feeling of animosity about the client within your own organization. Especially if you look at the key stakeholders within your organization, the SPOCs who work with the client's organization, you would find that there is a sense of strong antipathy and aggression that they show towards the client, towards individuals in the client's organization, even for simple and regular requests that comes from the client. Such requests might be a little bit beyond what the SLA calls for and that would immediately trigger a sense of frustration within your organization. And you would also notice that in meetings, in reviews, when we talk about the clients and about the relationship with the clients, some of these key stakeholders in your organization, in your own organization, they start stereotyping key stakeholders in the client's organization, individuals. They talk about them in a negative manner. And this phenomenon occurs at least a year before the client attrites, sometimes even two to three years ahead of time. So it's an early warning sign. So all I'm trying to say is that the reason for a client to attrite might most often be something to do with your own organization and your own employees rather than some issue with a client. Quite often we try to dissect and find out what's wrong with a client. Why don't you turn the table and look at what's wrong in your organization? 